I've received quite a few questions on what a good book for starting to play Shinobur might be. Super super helpful, thank you, I've been watching a few tutorials for the last month and you gave some lovely information that I've been after. One question, where might I be able to find some good beginner books that have notation like that book you showed in the video? Right now I have managed to get a handle on playing the notes, now I want to work out learning some specific techniques through dedicated notations. As you may already know, my main instrument is shakuhachi, which is quite rare in the West. However, compared to shakuhachi, it seems that shinobu is even rarer, meaning there are not many people playing shinobu. And as a consequence, almost all material is only available in Japanese, so finding suitable sources for learning shinobu can be quite difficult. As I've pointed out previously, I've been playing Shinobu for a long time now, but I only picked it up on the side to play for my taiko group, so there may be a few things that I'm missing. But with all that being said, here are the books that I think are the most helpful for learning. As most of these books are in Japanese, here's a pro tip. Use your mobile phone and a translation app to just translate the text automatically. You can get a really good understanding of what the text says. So let's start with this book here, it's called Shinobu Newmon. So Shinobu Newmon, <laughs> meaning Shinobu Introduction or Shinobu Primer. This book was written by Living National Treasure Sanzamon Takara, who I think passed away in 2010, unfortunately. It only contains the Japanese notation, which I think is very useful. What I mean is that it is useful to learn the Japanese system which notates fingerings instead of pitches as it is done in the western staff notation. In my view, for learning a traditional instrument it is good to understand the basic approach to notation, meaning writing the fingerings instead of the pitches, and it is just easier to start out with it rather than adding it on when you've already developed some playing skills. Of course, it is very useful to know staff notation as well, but especially if you already know it, it's easy to add that on later. I find this book really useful for teaching because it contains many, many exercises for all levels, so the progression is very slow and it is easy to find suitable exercises for beginning players. Especially if you've not played an instrument before or are not used to reading music scores, this slow progression is very useful. On the technical level, it also introduces one element at a time, so there is little chance of getting overwhelmed. There is a CD available for the book, which is sold separately. Finally, I personally am a sucker for properly designed and produced books, and this one as well as the next one are of superb quality in both respects. So the paper is great, um, all the layout is great, um, the way the scores are written is beautiful, um, the pictures are very useful, all that stuff. So production quality really very very high. And before we continue, the usual call, subscribe, please like this video, please ring the notification bell. 72 of you not subscribe, what the hell? If all of you subscribe to my song YouTube channel, I might actually be proud of him. Nice, stupid. And if you are so inclined and would like to support me making these videos, please consider supporting me on Patreon or subscribe to my email list. I'm now sending out emails on a slightly more regular basis than I used to, so if you want to keep up with what I'm doing, please subscribe to that email list. Thanks! Next, there is this book. Like the previous one, it was written by Sanzaemon Takara and it only consists of scores. So this one here, for example. It is called Shinobu de Fuku, Nihon no Jojo, Kashu Dai Shu, <laughs> which basically means um, uh, Japanese lyrical or melodious songbook uh, first series. As for the previous book, there is a CD available for this one too, but again it is sold separately. In a way, it's a continuation or a complement of the one I just showed. Instead of focusing on technical aspects, it contains well-known and really beautiful <laughs> Japanese songs, so you could say it focuses on the musical aspects and the other one focuses more on the technical aspects of starting to play. Personally, I have learned the most from playing the pieces in this book here. Um, I played them slowly and I played them very, very often. And for me, that really was the best way of developing tone color, a good solid tone and finger dexterity, as well as develop a feeling for Japanese melodies. All pieces in this book are short, but because the melodies are 
so nice. <laughs> They are really nice. Um, it takes a long time until you, or at least I, got bored. Then there is this book here. Um, this one here is the third book of a three-part series. It is called Yasashiku Tanoshi Shinobu no Fukikata to Nihon no Meikyoku. Roughly translated, it means easy and fun shinobu, how to play and famous Japanese songs. This is the third in the series, as I already said. So it is Jo Kyu Hen, so the upper level collection. And the two before are beginner level and intermediate level. Um, I only have this one, but this series is one of the most popular ways to start playing shinobu. Um, it has a few explanations and exercises in the front like this. But the bulk of the book really consists of scores for pieces. The first two volumes contain more explanations, of course, and um, this third one only has a few pages of explanations of the last notes that have not been introduced in the first two books, and then it mostly consists of the scores. This book already comes with a CD, which is always really helpful for learning. The scores are written in Western staff notation with the Japanese notation written beneath. The last book I'd like to mention here is the one by Marco Leinhardt. I only have it in the electronic version, so I can't show you a physical copy here at the moment. Um, I only got this book quite late on, so I haven't learned from it myself and must say I actually don't use it that much, but sometimes I use it to look something up. The advantage obviously is that it is written in English. As the other books mentioned here, it has some explanations in the first half and then a collection of exercises and pieces in the second half. My impression is that it especially tries to be useful for beginners who already play a Western instrument and it is geared to start playing with a number eight flute, which means it may be a bit difficult if you do not have a number eight flute. My usual recommendation is to start with a number six flute, simply because it is a bit bigger and therefore a bit easier to play initially. Um, also, my personal approach to teaching tone production is a bit different, which may be one reason that I'm not referring to this book so much. But as always, this does mean that my way is the best way. My way or the highway. My way or the highway. Please uh, have a look at this book um, and make up your own mind. This is a good book too. The songs in the second half are many traditional Japanese songs and the number of pieces composed by the author himself. There is no accompanying recording available for this book. Some pieces have been recorded by the author and or his taiko group, Taikoza, so it is possible to find some pieces, but there is no complete collection of all the pieces in the book in one place. So now for logistics, how can you get these books? The main sources are Mejiro in Tokyo. If you've seen one or two of my videos, you know I really like the store very much. I'm not sponsored, maybe one day, but I'm not sponsored by Mejiro. Uh, but it is a great resource for shakuachi and everything that has to do with shinobu as well. Then there is also in Tokyo Minamoto Unosoke Shoten. They are mainly a taiko manufacturer, but the store in Tokyo actually also has a really big collection and um, a good choice of shinobu. Cheap ones, expensive ones, long ones, short ones, uh, Hayashi, Uta, everything um, you want in Shinobu is available from both of these stores. Then there is the Kyoto Taiko Center. As the name says, they are mostly selling taiko, but they also have a few flutes as well. And then finally, Asano Daiko, which is another big manufacturer of taiko. They are mostly in Fukui in Japan. And they also have a store in the USA. So maybe that is, if you live in the USA, maybe that is a good source for you as well. I hope these tips are useful. As always, it would mean a lot to me if you support me in some form in making these videos. Just like the video, um, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell so you're informed when a new video comes up, or leave a comment, or maybe even consider supporting me on Patreon. All and any of these are really appreciated very, very much. Thanks for watching this video and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.